The following video demonstrates using the Test Harness command window to build and run custom functional tests. The video highlights branching via the conditional command, controlling test conditions using external test equipment including the Omicron command, and validating conditions using the validate points command. It also shows how to run the test using the run all commands option. This demo illustrates how to use the command window to run a sequence of commands. This feature can be useful for setting up custom functional tests. In this example, the test harness is connected to an off-screen microprocessor board. This test makes use of the conditional command. The conditional command allows us to specify a test condition. In this case, we're looking at the status of binary input point 6, which is the inner key on the microprocessor board. If the condition is true, meaning the inner key is pressed, execution will continue with the next command. If the condition is false, execution will branch to the specified command. In this case, the green LED1 on command, as shown in the uh, configuration window and by the red bar in the command window. This test also uses an Omicron command to control an attached Omicron CMC156. The CMC156 will set up these required conditions that are connected to inputs on the microprocessor boards. These will then be validated with the validate points command. The validate points command allows you to specify points to be validated and their expected values. If the conditions are met, execution continues. Otherwise, an error prompt is displayed. Finally, the test uses another conditional command to prompt the user whether to repeat the test. To run the test, we use the run all commands. Note that run all commands and update expected values can be used to set up the initial conditions in the validate point commands if desired. When we choose run all commands, each command is executed in sequence. Although we can't see the LEDs in the off-screen computer, we can see the CROB status returned by this computer and see that each LED is being turned on in sequence. If I now press and hold the enter key, execution continues past the conditional command the Omicron sets up the expected binary inputs and we pass the validate points command indicated by the fact that the test continued. I'm now going to disconnect the connection between the Omicron and the microprocessor board and I'll select yes to repeat this test. In this case the validate points command failed because two inputs were not at their configured values. I'll acknowledge this prompt select no to repeat the test and the test exits.